rules. The color coding we've implemented for this practice is shown here. You can stop the video and just go through them. And at the bottom left it shows you the symbol we're going to use for the end of the sentence. Practice 1. So we have Hamza Tulqat. I just a quick reminder that's when Hamza itself has its own sound. A I U Then we have Hamza Tul Wasl and remember that doesn't actually have its own sound um except for when it will be pronounced as if it's got a fat tear and we'll cover that in the practices. So practice two we'll do a few examples of Hamza Tul Qat. Practice three again Hamza Tulqat Abi Innahu Waraita Afwaja Antum Arbud The next set of practices are going to be where we're using nouns and from our lessons if you remember a lot of the nouns that begin with the definite article al which is the hamzatul wasl followed by the lam are divided into sun letters and moon letters remember the moon letters do not carry the shadda whereas the sun letters do so we'll go through these two so the first example with one of the moon letters is and an example of one with a sun letter so now we'll do a practice with some words with the sun and moon letters Practice six again is some more sun and moon letters. Practice seven is nouns at the start of a sentence i.e. they begin with the definite article al i.e. the hamzatul wasl and the lam but there is no preceding sounds and again this is with the sun and moon letters alhamdu ar-rahman so note that the hamzatul wasl is read as if it has a factor on it making the sound of al or a joining with the letter with the shadda which effectively is the al the definite article the so now we'll practice a few words or nouns at the start of sentences ar-rahim al-muflihun as-sirat Al-Mustaqim Al-Kitab Al-Salat Practice 9 Al-Jinnati An-Nas Al-Falaq Al Waswasi Al Khonas Al Nafathati. 
Now a quick reminder of imperative verbs. So these are one of the more tricky um, ones to go through. Um, and the basic rule again is if you have an imperative verb they, which begins with the Hamzatul Wasl, the next letter will be Sakin and you look at whatever the sound is on the next letter. So if it has a Kasra or a Fatha then the Hamzatul Wasl is read as if it has a Kasra. If the letter after the letter which is Sakin has a Dhamma then the Hamzatul Wasl is also read as if it's a Dhamma. So these three examples are Ihdina Uthkuru Iqara so that was just a brief reminder. You may have to go back to the lesson on Hamzatul Wasl and Hamzatul Qat to go in a bit more detail about that rule. So here's some examples of imperative verbs, but these are actually being joined to previous sounds. Wasjud Wasfa. Now we're going to do some mixed examples of all of the things we've just practiced. Practice thirteen. Wam Raatuhu Was Taufir Hamala Tal Hatob. Practice fourteen. Ya a you hell kafirun. Our poina kel kaufel. Al Kafirun Al Kawthaw Practice fifteen Wayam Narun Al Marun Fadali Kaladi Al Marun Al Conclusion we have practiced Hamzatul Wasl and Hamzatul Qad in different words and we have also practiced reading some words at the end of sentences.